high school life. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. It's high school life in your midst again, just to educate you. Today, I'm your host, Tracy Friends, and I will be talking about Lake Bosonji, how the lake got its name, and a whole lot about the lake that you need to know. Lake Bosomje is found in the Ashanti region. It takes about seven to eight good hours just to walk around the lake. This shows how wide the lake, the lake is. It is 47 kilometers square in size and then 299 deep down. Okay, so now to how the lake got its name, Bosomje. Oral tradition has it that Lake Bosomje was formed years ago when a hunter called Bombe went on a hunt with his dog on a day he wasn't supposed to go on a hunt. He shot and then injured an antelope, but then the antelope didn't die. The antelope continued its run till it got to a pond. The hunter thereby followed the trails of blood of the antelope and also got to the pond. Why am I using the pond at this time? A pond because it was small. Yes. On getting to the lake, the hunter shot the antelope again, but then the antelope disappeared. It seemed as if the water had swallowed up the antelope. The hunter thereby remembered it wasn't the day he was supposed to go on hunt. He took fishes from the pond and then fed it to the dog, just to make sure it wasn't harmed. After eating it, the dog didn't die, so he took more of it and sent it home to feed on it with the family. Later on, the hunter decided to go to the king and inform him about what he saw. He went and then later, the king, together with the elders, went to check out the pond. Indeed, there was a pond there. They named it Bosomji because the water was a god that saved the antelope from getting killed, as well as it was the antelope that made them find that river. This is the end of part one. Stay tuned. We will be going for a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the second part of the story. Don't forget to subscribe and like as well. After they had discovered the river, mm -hmm. a hunter from Asante Achim had also discovered the river as well. And they wanted the river to themselves. So this is where the clash began. They decided to go on the road so that the one who emerges the winner takes the river for themselves. When the Ashantis were preparing, the Asante Achim people had already got into the river. So when the Ashantis got there, the people from Asante Achim killed most of the people from the Ashanti side. So they left, but then the chief 
who led the war for Atakumsa brought up an idea that they should go to the mountains surrounding the lake and then gather huge stones so that they can roll it and kill most of the people. Indeed, it worked out for them and then they emerged the winners. They came back to inform their king about their success. So, this is how they got the lake to themselves. They then started building towns around it just to make sure no one comes for the lake. So right now we have about 22 towns surrounding the lake Osunche. It was more than that, but then the lake keeps on expanding and expanding. So we have 22 around it. So this ends today's episode. What do you want to know? What other history do you want us to talk about? What are your comments? Just drop it at the comment section. And don't forget to share, subscribe for more. I still remain true friends.